Good evening and welcome to tonight's presentation of Noche La NBA, an annual tradition in the NBA celebrating diversity and culture and always a pleasure to bring it to you. Tonight, it'll be the Boston Celtics going up against the Chicago Bulls at United Center. This is Kevin Harlan and joining me, former NBA players Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson and the award-winning David Aldridge is on our sidelines. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Ayo Dosumu. And guys, how about the surge of offense he's experiencing right now? These last five games, he's been a machine at the offensive end. A different score than he had been earlier in the season. We'll find out if he can keep it going here tonight. And now the opening lineup for Boston. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Porzingis is out there with Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard. And for Chicago, Vucevic is out there with DeRozan. And it's Alex Caruso. Then there's Dosumu, and it's White in at the point. And for those teams, Greg, already out of the playoff picture, what are they focused on at this point? <laughs> Next season? I mean, look, the reality is a number of these guys are playing for their job. And in the offseason, you want to be remembered for closing out strong. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Holiday against White. Now the pass to Persingas. Now here's Tatum. Outside Holiday. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Holiday's got the first points up on the board here for the Celtics. Passes it to Vucevic. Brown against Caruso. Here's Vucevic. Falls back and trains the fadeaway jumper. Yeah, Vuce will do this to you. He's not scared of that mid-range. He's a midi master. And there is the whistle. That goes on Kobe White. That's his first foul. Oh, they've got their eyes on him. Calling the foul right away. Outside, White. Tatum on the wing. DeRozan defending. Brown wide open. He fired. A three-pointer off the mark. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. You got to give him an A for effort. Just fell a little bit short in that one. And maybe if they were at home, their fans could have given them the boost they needed to get over the top. Five to shoot. Beyond the arc. Good for the basket. Starting off... One for one with that shot. Encouraging to see DeMar DeRozan knock it down from three. This helps open up the entire offense even more. Tatum kicks to Porzingis. Back to Tatum. Goes up on the wing. Rebounded by Vucevic. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One, they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. And love the commitment from White. Took the bump, went up strong, and rewarded with two points. RJ, when we talk about the Boston Celtics, they've transformed into a real heavyweight out east. Oh, they are a dominant team out east. One of the dominant teams in this league. Look, they have so much young talent and talent that they drafted and developed. This group, their only job is to contend for championships. At the line for two. Shoot two. That free throw good from Porzingis. And at 7-3, Porzingis could have been just another big, but he defies expectations. He's got such an impressive array of abilities. And both free throws good for Porzingis. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Now here's White. 
with an average of around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been a constant for them. From down low, another one falls for Chicago. And how great are they playing? Four for four shooting to start this one. Brown deciding where to go with it. On the wing, Holiday. Brown sets a screen for Holiday. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Here now, the league's highest scoring teams the past 10 games. What a stretch it has been for these guys. Number one, the Celtics. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be in a rhythm in terms of scoring, and they are putting up some big numbers. Pass to Vucevic. Back to White. Vucevic setting the pick for White. Three-pointer. It's good from long range. White's got seven points. And you have got to honor White on the perimeter. Once he gets comfortable from there, it's going to be bad news for the defense. Now here's Tatum. Nothing on the board. He dishes it to Holiday. And the turnover again by Boston. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some data for White. He's been a factor for them over the last month. He's around 18 points per game, five assists, and four rebounds. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, not playing outside himself, but finding lots of chances to do his thing and affect the game. Now here's DeRosa. Right now, checking his stats, he's averaging over 23 points a game. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they shot the basketball. Tatum against DeRozan. Can they get it? And he sinks the layup. Jason Tatum. You look at Tatum now running the pick and roll. He's calm, and his moves are so concise. He's just definitive with everything he does. Now, here's Dosumu. He had 35 points last game out. And that one's good, Caruso. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Tatum against DeRozan. Fires the three. And it's Jason Tatum with a three. Five points in the game. Every time Tatum finds his shot, he'll take it. He loves to fill it up from mid-range. Vucevic is screen on white. Richard looking at Dosumu. He's had some recent recognition for his ability. Getting to appear in the Rising Stars Challenge. Look, a credit to the promise he shows as a young player. That selection can be very encouraging for a young guy. Two shots. First one falls for him. He's off on the second. LGA for the Bulls. It's been a struggle to find consistency the past few seasons. It's been a one step forward, one step back kind of situation. That They don't need to set their sights on a title yet. They just have to establish that winning culture. And here's DeRozan. After Jason Tatum getting his shot to go from deep. DeRozan, and it's good. Two points. DeRozan's got seven points. This team is rolling right now. Still haven't missed a shot. Outside Tatum. He kicks to Holiday. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. A deceptive guard. Holiday draws fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of the game. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. They've made a point to take what's given to them in the mid-range. The jumpers are falling for them so far. 
and also have to bring up their passing game. They, they've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for DeMar DeRozan. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Last game for the Celtics, they pick up the win against the Bucks. Pass to Caruso. Over Brown. Caruso, no good. Celtics trail by four. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. And that one, good. Ten points for him. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter, especially. The pass to Vucevic. Over Perzingis, and it's Chicago scoring again. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. There will be some letdown at some point, but these teams, they are built to score, so. Now here's Tatum. Coming off 31 points last game. Here's the three. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. For three. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been triples. Light the pass to Dosunga. Down low. Caruso kicks to White. Shot clock at six. Rebound, Boston. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. White, good. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. So timeout called here, the first for Chicago. And Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. They've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process as excruciating as it may be. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some data for White. He's been on a tear since the All-Star break going really to another level. Fourth in blocks. And he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates, such an asset. And yeah, he's been a brutal shot blocker all season long. As, as you said, top five in the league. He's a dangerous force to face inside. Now here is Holiday. He has five. Over in the corner, Brown. Outside, White fires the three. Craig pulls it in. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. White the pass to Dosunga. Vucevic a screen on Brown. Here's Dosunga. The Bulls with another miss. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Tatum looking around. Passes to Persingas. Brown against Gray. Shoots from the high post. And it's Brown missing. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Vucevic setting the pick for White. Pass to Vucevic. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Right side, Tatum. Inside. And Porzingis gets it to go on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got three assists tonight. No wonder defenses have a hard time limiting Porzingis inside. Just look at that massive wingspan. Now here's White. He has seven. Fades away. That one falls. Boston's gone 4-6 from long range here early on. To the inside. 
Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. Uh, yeah, textbook positioning there for Porzingis. Once he's established it, he's going to have the advantage and able to finish that one above the rim. Now, here's Craig. He has yet to score. Caruso, the pass to Vucevic. Ice D from Porzingis. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Celtics. Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And also, guys, they're out-muscling their opponent. The points in the paint are piling up because of that aggressiveness. And that one falls for Tatum. And Greg, the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer, for a time, the richest in NBA history. You gotta pay to play, or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Here is the 2K leaderboard. What a terrific defensive performance these teams have had since All-Star. In fourth, the Celtics. I mean, they've got the intimidation factor down low. Their shot blocking really gives them a reputation, and teams may grow reluctant to want to force the action inside. Celtics on D. Six-point lead. Pass to Vucevic. Shot clock at five. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. And Vucevic, RJ, one of the few NBA players from Switzerland. Yeah, he's in a pretty exclusive club of Swiss players. Just four players coming from there. All of them since 2006. I love it when we get new players from new countries. It just grows the game. One shot. The free throw drops for Vucevic. What makes Vooch so tough is the combination of size and athleticism. Defenses are always trying to figure him out. That's why this man is a double-double every night. Now, oh, here's Brown. Hasn't made one yet. Back to Tatum. Let's it go from deep. And Vucevic pulls it down. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Terry finds Vucevic. Vucevic gets double team. Outside Carter. Al Horford with the rebound. Celtics leading by three. The pass to Tatum. Outside Horford. Pass to Brown. There's the triple. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got four rebounds now tonight. Carter kicks to Caruso. Pass to Vucevic. Carter with the screen. Craig with it. Pass to Caruso. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. It's blocked. Caruso against Brown. And there's the pass to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Makai Luke's checked in for Brown. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Jason Knocks Tatum. down the three ball. No second thoughts from Tatum. Just look, he's ready. Carter looking around. 
Terry outside. Kucevic against Horford. The jump hook, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Outside Tatum. Passes it to Pritchard. Oh, good with the triple. And so it's the Boston Celtics with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And their three-point shooting has paved the way for them. And we'll be right back. We welcome you back to Noche Latina. Becoming an annual tradition is always here on 2K Sports and always exciting. What do you guys think about the Celtics here in this one? Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Their points came almost exclusively from beyond the arc, and as this game continues, that should open up the floor for the rest of their offense. Bulls trail by six. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. They've got Horford. And it's Tillman into the center position. Here's Pritchard, defended by Carter. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. RJ, I've got a hypothetical for you. If we did a fantasy draft, and you had the first overall pick, who would you take? I'm going to be honest. Right now, I'm going to have to probably say Jokic just because there's no defense that has been created that can stop his offensive game. So ultimately, it doesn't matter how good of a defender he is. But second, I'm still going with Braun. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. And there's Terry. Still scoreless. Kicks it to DeRozan. Hunter on the wing. Drummond sets the screen for Carter. Horford with the rebound. And so Horford will bring it up for the Celtics. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are playing with a high level of motivation. All-star Jason Tatum Jason says Tatum. what we talk about before the game, halftime, is win by any cost, by any means. Figure it out, win the game, and build great habits along the way. Kevin? Still room to grow. David, thanks. Here's DeRozan. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Two shots. First free throw is good. Bulls making a switch here. Taylor's checked in. And both free throws good for Drummond. Celtics leading by seven. Outside Tatum. And stolen by Drummond. 
We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Can't cash in from close range. Austin's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Here's Tatum. Inside Tatum. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Carter, the pass to DeRozan. And again, no good by Chicago. The Celtics shooting an impressive 65% having their way with this defense. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Hauser the pass to Tatum. Ah, Tatum an assassin! And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Here's DeRozan. And Boston with the rebound. Horford's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the paint. Here's Tillman. Chicago grabs the miss. That's just the bucket play like you expect him to make. It's tough when he missed those. Now here is Carter. Not a lot of room. Here's DeRozan. The good looking shot from the wing. DeRozan's got nine. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Here's Hauser. No scoring in this one. Lock at six. Pass to Horford. Austin needs to get off a shot. Richard. And a miss there on the triple. Bulls trail by 10. Carter kicks to Drummond. Outside DeRozan. Drummond sets the screen for DeRozan. High post try. Good. DeRozan's got four this quarter. DeRozan has every shot, but that mid-range, yeah, that's his bread and butter. Here's Tatum. 26 points for him. It's good from about 19 feet. Tatum's got 28 points for the game. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. And he gets it to go. He's got 13. And it's hard to believe that DeRozan's offense only continues to get stronger. And in this one, he's really showing us what he can do. The three from Tatum. Rebound by the Bulls. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Terry against Tatum. Carter with a screen on Tatum. Here's Terry out to Carter and stolen by Tatum. And pushing it up, here's Boston and the basket by Hauser. Outstanding D from Tatum. It led to the break. Bulls trail by 10. RJ, a guy who will completely take over a game. Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's got a deep bag. He's got an incredible talent, and every year he works to add to it. And he's good on the three ball. Terry's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now Tatum, and he has 28 points for the game. Puts up a deep three. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got four rebounds now tonight. Carter, the pass to Terry. Carter kicks to Drummond. Carter sets the pick for Drummond. Outside, Taylor. Terry outside. Pass to Drummond. Just five to shoot. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got six rebounds in the game. The pass to Pritchard. Horford with a screen on Carter. Here's Pritchard, defended by Carter. Horford dishes to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. Here's Hauser, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. 
And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. So Chicago ends up going with a new group. And a new group in for the Celtics. White with it. He's coming off a 13-point game against Houston. Bulls moving the ball around. That's in, and the Celtic lead is cut to just five on the basket from Vucevic. Nine points for Vucevic. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Celtics. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. And on top of probably having the better talent, they never let up. Great effort. Great win. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT's scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. And that one falls for Tatum. Now look, from the moment he stepped into this league, Jason Tatum has been a difference maker. Every team in the league is looking for guys like him. Long, athletic, and most importantly, winners. Now, here's Vucevic. He's coming off a 16-point game against Houston. And he was also went to town on the glass and posed his will, chasing down misses all game long. Just four to shoot. Porzingis with the block. And the 7-3 reach of Porzingis being put to great use there. Bulls have shot 80% from the lines and I going four of five so far. And typically a strength of their 79% on the season. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. Celtics leading by eight. Outside Tatum. Left side Brown. Rebounded by Bucevic. Now Chicago has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Bucevic setting the pick for White. The dish to Bucevic. Second chance effort. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Getting physical on the glass and getting a bucket, that's what Vooch does. For Chicago, they have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Al Horford, he's checked in for Boston. At the line for the Bulls, Nikola Vucevic. One shot. Celtics leading by five. Outside, White. This is it to Persingas. Back to White. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots over Dosumu. From the top of the key, he buries it. And the Celtics lead by seven. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Now, here's Vucevic. 12 points for him. Outside, White. Porzingis with the block. Holiday against White. 
White looking around. Screened by Porzingis. And the Celtics hit again from deep. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Bulls trail by 10. Craig with a screen on White. Here's Dosun. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Holiday with the three. Rebound by the Bulls. And Vucevic kicks to White. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. To the middle. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. White against Holiday. To the paint. And the dunk by Porzingis. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for Chicago. And with a moment, let's check out the stats for Vucevic. This last month, he's been positively spectacular. He's putting up about 20 points per game, 11 rebounds, and three assists. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. He's someone you can rely on to bring it on a nightly basis. When they need a basket, he's the guy they turn to. And a solid playmaker, White has a great sense for when he should look to give it up. Brown outside. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. And the Celtics lead by 10. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now, here's DeRozan. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Rockets in Houston. Okay, look, when you play aggressively, you can really get to the line. Just ask him. And they're on the break. Here's Brown. The rebound by Dosunmu. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting display. Here's White. He's got seven. Pass to Caruso. Fires for three. Another three for Chicago. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. We've got 108 left to play in the first half. The shot by Holiday, no good. Here's White, score the basket. His fourth, he's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Man, Holiday puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Often it's with his scoring, but right there, making a play for someone else. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Horford. Remains Chicago ball. Fifty seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Dosunmu. No good on the triple. Definitely a situation you want to make sure we don't give him too good of a look. Back to Holiday. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got four assists in the game. Not just being selfless, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. Now, here's DeRozan. He's got 16. Outside, White. Pass to Caruso. Feeds it to Vucevic. Battles through traffic and lays it in. 14 points for Vucevic. Hard to deny Vuce inside when he can play over or through you. Round against Caruso. Screen by Porzingis. Outside Holiday. The shot comes out. What a performance from Jason Tatum. He has been the story for the Boston Celtics. He ends up dropping in two from distance. Making a difference from long range in this one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, 
just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. It feels good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Good to have you with us with the season in its latter portion. Let's look at the Eastern Conference playoff race. Take a look here now at Boston. They've been phenomenal. All the lofty predictions, the expectations, they've all come true. Now comes the hardest part, the postseason. Every team is going to be gunning for them. And now let's talk about this one. Man, what a great start for the Boston Celtics. They're firing on all cylinders from deep. Obviously, that was their strategy coming in, and they've executed. Give them credit. Mm -mm -mm. Seeing this wide open offense in Shaq, man, mm -mm -mm. seeing this wide open offense makes me want a ball, man. I'm telling you, Ernie, you know where to find a hoop at right now? You know where I can get a game in? Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You love guys who can get their shot within the flow of the offense. Alex Caruso out there at the roast. And it's Vucevic. Then it's White. And it's Dosumu in at the shooting guard position. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Tough for a guard to hang in the paint like that. But not DeRosa. Austin leading by seven. Tell you what, RJ, in over a decade, all DeMar DeRozan has done is get better. Yeah, he's continuing to become a more efficient scorer. He's been a star. Multiple All-Star games, multiple All-NBA awards, and he's been doing it with different franchises as well. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. White finds DeRozan. Over Tatum. The Rosen's shot is off. The Celtics shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. And the pass to Persingas. Outside Tatum. Launches a three. Tatum sinks it in a thicket of defenders. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What you got for us, D.A.? Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back that I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work. I'm not the loudest or may show everything. Kevin? Yeah, you know, his passion, D.A., for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. And here's White. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. It's a 13-point game. Passes to Dosunga. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. And it's White missing. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing fall. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. Tatum against DeRozan. Pass to White. Here's Caruso, six on the shot clock. Can they get it? Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Caruso's got 10 points. The Rico, come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Brown finds Porzingis. Yep, that one goes. He's got 10. 
Okay, so they've looked energized and focused starting this half, coming out of the break, making four out of their first five. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Surely one of the top players in the NBA, but Jalen Brown has many other interests outside of basketball. Yeah, he likes to keep those brain muscles just as in shape as he is. He spends a lot of time playing piano, chess, doing yoga, and reading to keep himself sharp. It's getting late in the season. Let's now see the standings out east. You take a look at the Celtics. They are the favorite right now to lock up the number one seed come playoff time. Sitting in first place right now and not looking like they, you know, are going to be slowing down at all. And, of course, there's the Bulls. Quite a few spots down the ladder right now. And, you know, for the Celtics, their fans had high hopes for them this season, and they have not let them down. It's been a fantastic campaign thus far, and they really are set up perfectly for a deep run in the playoffs. And they double up DeRozan. Kicks to Vucevic. Pass to DeRozan. Back to Caruso. Six to shoot. Picked by Vucevic. The eight footer. Porzingis with the block. DeRozan against Tatum. Down low, Porzingis goes back up. He takes it up and lays it in. Porzingis has got four points in the quarter. And talk about persistence. Porzingis just being a bully on the offensive glass and punishing the opposition. Now here's Caruso. Ten points for him. Lays it up and banks it in. Caruso's got 12. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Porzingis sets the pick for Tatum. Outside, Porzingis. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got six assists here tonight. Bulls trail by 17. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. In for his seventh break in 14 tries. And DeRozan has done an amazing job improving his playmaking skills, including finding his open teammates. Tatum against DeRozan. Tatum passes to Persingas. And the dunk by Persingas. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often, because they know they can depend on him to come through for him. With the step back. Mar DeRozan on the wing. Guarded by Porzingis. Doesn't go for him. Celtics on offense. They're on a 17-7 run. White, good. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Now here's DeRozan. He's got 18. And it's Vucevic. That time on the assist from DeRozan. DeRozan's got three assists now in this one. DeRozan against Tatum. Outside, White. Outside, Holiday. And the Celtics hit again from deep. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Now here's Vucevic. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. And White kicks to Caruso. Vucevic is screen on Holiday. And they get it back. Vucevic with the bucket. No question, Vucevic is locked in right now, just giving a ton of energy on that offensive end. Austin leading by 18. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. Outside Tatum. From 15 feet away, and it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. 
White with it. Now guarded by Tatum. White against Tatum. Now here's Dosumu. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now he averages nearly 12 points a game. Tatum dishes to Holiday. There's the pass to Persingas. The 11-footer, and it's off the back rim, no good. And here's White, he'll bring it up for Chicago. Outside to Rosen, pass to Caruso. Vucevic is screen on Brown. Here's Caruso. It's hauled in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds now tonight. Dishes it to Tatum. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. And Richard Camp smoothing is part of this new labor deal with the max 10% increases. Why is that important? Well, it's so we don't get another KD and Warrior situation where the rich just got richer. Other players got contracts too, maybe a little too rich. I think the lesson was learned to smooth it out over time. Now, here's Caruso. He's got 12. The three. Tatum, that's good. Tatum's got 41. Oh, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. Holiday against White. And here is Craig. Still yet to score. From outside the arc, Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Holiday, the pass to Brown. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. From down in the low post, it goes. Brown's got eight points. Wanting it more. Jalen Brown, this man competes. And teammates, they take notice of things like that. Back to Vucevic. Pass to Dosunmu. Shot from free throw range, and Tatum pulls it down. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Outside, Horford. Misses the three. Now well, Chicago has gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. That's to Dosunmu. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Craig can't get it to go. Austin leading by 23. Holiday, the pass to Horford. Right side, Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Caruso. Tatum's shot is off. The Bulls shooting 35% or so in the third quarter. Whatever they're trying is not working. Outside, White. Vucevic down low. He's against Porzingis. Vucevic with the bucket. Too easy for Vucevic. He feeds from these interior spots. Holiday surveying the floor. He dishes it to Tatum. Here's Brown. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. White against Holiday at the elbow. Vucevic. And the pass to Craig. Wide a screen on Persingas. Craig down low. Headed by Persingas. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. 
And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. First, yeah, credit Holiday for getting to the line on that one with his quickness and length. I'd like to see him do that more often. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And this season, he's maintained very good form at the line, shooting at about an 83% clip. The first free throw is good. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. DeMar DeRozan comes in for Alex Caruso. Terry's checked in for Dosumu. And it's Carter in for Kobe White. Pritchard, he's checked in for Boston. All three throws good from Drew Holiday. There's 21 seconds left to play in the third. DeRozan against Brown. DeRozan scanning the floor. Drummond sets the screen for DeRozan. Shoots from 14, and he hits the jump shot. DeRozan's got four this quarter. When you're a jumper, DeMar does something a little bit different. He gets great lift off the floor. That makes his shot so tough to contest. And so it's Boston. Riding high with a 23-point lead heading into the break. From the field, they have been amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. On the court for the Celtics, Horford and Porzingis are manning the post positions. Then it's Tatum, and it's Hauser in at the small forward position. Ooh, good little touch on the floater. Tatum making it look way too easy. Passes it to Carter. Here's DeRozan. And for a while, the West held bragging rights on being better than the Eastern Conference. Uh, Richard, you think that's changed? I think so. You see a number of powerhouses now in the Eastern Conference, and the West is way more open. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. Here's Pritchard. Outside Tatum. The train. Andre Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. DeRozan passes to Craig. He blocks it again! A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Craig protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Pass to Hauser. This one for three. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Three. Tatum's got assist number eight here in this one already. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for Boston. They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Look at their shot blocking. The opposition doesn't have any room to breathe. And another thing, guys, they dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. Now here's Tatum following the miss by DeRozan. Here's Hauser. And the three off target. For Chicago, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Pass to Craig from downtown. Good on the triple. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Up top, Tatum. Terry covering. 
and it's good for two. Jason Tatum. Tatum's got 45 points. With his upper body strength, Tatum can power through contact. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Back to DeRozan. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. No good from outside. Yeah, that's a shame because I'm not sure the defense will let him get a shot that good again very soon. Chicago's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. The pass to Craig. Terry outside. Coming his double. Here's Craig. Hits the three-point bomb. Craig's got six points in the quarter. Well, if they're doubling you, then you know someone is open to shoot. So time smart out, move out. passing it out. Now a timeout called by Boston. Start. He's checked in for Tory Craig. Get loud and let him hear you. Once again, a big round of applause for your Shake Holiday finds Tatum. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Bulls trail by 21. DeRozan with it. And it's Horford picking him up. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. It's amazing. He is one of the best I have ever seen at drawing contact and getting to the line. DeRozan just creates tons of and ones. One shot. Austin leading by 18. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. And that one drops. And look, when DeRozan is shooting with confidence, he is dangerous, especially catching and firing just like that. Now, here's Tatum. Outside Holiday. Now Tatum. Over Terry. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. DeRozan against Tatum. On the wing, Terry. There's the three. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Pritchard, defended by Carter. Holiday, the pass to Tillman. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Drummond's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Stolen by Holiday. And here's the break. Pritchard gets the bucket. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, when you hustle on the break like he does, good things tend to happen. Now, here's DeRozan. Terry with a screen on Horford. Here's DeRozan driving in, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Such a ferocious drive by DeRozan. Even when the defense is closing in, he just keeps pushing and keeps pushing and gets fouled. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. I like the leadership DeMar DeRozan provides for his team. He's a steady veteran presence out there on that floor. He can motivate his guys even in really tough moments. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Vucevic checked in for Andre Drummond. Dosumu comes in for Terry. And it's Kobe White in for Javon Carter. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Austin leading by 13. 
outside Tatum. Passes it to Brock. Five on the clock. And the layup is good. Brown's got nine points now in just the second half. As a player, a rough first half, look, it can wake you up. Sometimes it leads to much improved play in the second half. DeRozan again, Torford. Releases from 15, and it's DeRozan missing. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They've got the Pistons ahead of them in their next game in Detroit. That'll be just the second of seven away from home. Count it good. Tatum's got 47 points. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Pass to Caruso. Now here's Dosumu. He kicks it to DeRozan. Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. Rebounded by the Celtics. Holiday with it. Outside, Horford. White against Holiday. Horford with the screen on White. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. And looks that's like the illegal crazy. pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Here we are looking around the NBA, Greg. It feels like there's more parity amongst teams than ever before. No dominant team has been the favorite every year. And that can all change, though, in a heartbeat. Every so often, a dynasty can be born out of nothing. White, he's checked in for Al Horford. And he gets the bucket. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. White against Holiday. Chicago again turning it over. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Tatum against DeRozan. Porzingis with a screen on DeRozan. Here's Tatum. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. An active score, whenever Tatum forces the issue and goes at the defense, they have to compromise. Jason Tatum taking two shots. And that one falls for Tatum. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, That'll help them seal the deal. Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan to end the run. He gets it in there. DeRozan's got 12 now in this quarter. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Tatum against DeRozan. Outside Tatum. And he uses the glass on the lane. Tatum's got 54 points. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And White kicks to DeRozan. Picked by Vucevic. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Jason Tatum. 
working his way inside Vooch, ready to battle for it. We love the fact that the NBA is constantly evolving. Greg, what have you thought of the recent schedule adjustments? I think the league's done a great job cutting down on the back-to-backs. And also, I like these two-game, like, baseball-style series we've seen. Limiting travel helps big time. The first one falls. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Here's Boston now. They're on a 15 to 5 run here. Here's Horford and the dunk by Horford. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Now here's Dosumu. Here's DeRozan. And he gets it to go from the high post. 34 points for DeMar DeRozan. Nice play by DeRozan. Such a strong score. So consistent in his approach at the offensive end. Horford with a screen on White. Pritchard passes to Horford. Can't hit from in close. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And it's DeRozan missing. Here's Boston now. They're on a 17-7 run. Here's Pritchard. White covering. Pritchard passes to Horford. Here's Tillman. Clock at four. Picked by Horford. A three ball. DeMar DeRozan grabs the board. Chicago has gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. It's good. DeRozan's got 36. The closer DeRozan gets, the more dangerous he is. That's fantastic work inside. Horford with a screen on White. Here's Pritchard, White covering. Here's Horford. Up and in on the layup. Horford. And inside the paint really is where Horford goes to work. Still athletic enough and really makes it look easy. Caruso kicks to DeRozan. White, wide open. He fires. Off target from outside. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Boston. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And the wins continue to come in fairly easy for these guys and what's been a very strong year to say the least. Tonight will push them up to 56 wins. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Jason Tatum. He was doing everything right and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. Here's DeRozan following the three-pointer by Boston. Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. And the call will be against Al Horford. That's his first foul. That's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. The Celtics making a switch here. Makai Luke has checked in. DeRozan. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. DeRozan's got 38 points. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. Here's Pritchard. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. 
And there's the pass to Horford. Just five on the clock from the baseline. And again, it's Boston converting. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure did. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. And